We got the hits. We got the gist. This is Lagos number one lifestyle station. City 1051 FM. Cash on your number one lifestyle station. I definitely did not see this song coming through when Lady Donnelly released it in 2019. But yeah, that's how she does. Okay, so um, I see the phone lines buzzing absolutely. And I know that we're supposed to be playing. I call on right now and I absolutely apologize. But we have to bring that to a halt. But the good thing about it is that you get to play games with me every weekday, Monday through to Friday, from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Lady Dawn is finally in the building so we can have that conversation. And yes, I am apologizing for the fact that I will be picking your phone calls. But I'll be picking it in about 10 15 minutes if you have a question for Lady Dolly. Do not call in and say, Melanie, I want to play games. No, I have already wrapped that one up right now. And we're having a conversation with Lady Dolly. Please, Lady Dolly, please be nice. Try to be nice. <laughs> How are you doing? Hey, yeah, Melody, what's happening? I am fine. I am fantastic. You finally arrived here. I'm sorry. I'm that sorry. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Linda, please help me. Yeah. Down. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you dropped an album. Enjoy your life. Yeah. And um, that album, people have constantly, since you dropped it, people have been constantly talking about it on social media. Yeah. People are always saying this, people are always saying that. But, you know, 99% of the time, someone talking about Enjoy Your Life is from something positive. Yeah. How does that make it sound? Um, I mean, like, I'm glad, like, it's doing what Did you expect I, that reaction? I did. Are you serious? Yeah. So you knew people were going to love it? Yeah. So you know that <laughs> thing that happens before an artist drops an album, that you always get and say, oh my god, what if you don't like it? What if people don't take you well? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure this is a fantastic album. You didn't get that feeling. You didn't no, get that no, album. No, no. What? Is that like more pride? It's not pride. Um, I was just confident in the body of work I created. Because well, I you took know. time to create it. <laughs> How long did it take you to create it? Um, two years in the making, um, give or take. And um, I was just confident in it. In what I, I, I was confident that I created what I set out to create. So mm -hmm. I was just like, yeah, like, it's a good body of work. That's pride. That's pride. No, that's, that's not pride. You pride. started. It's not pride. It's, you know how. You started. You know how people <laughs> put together a body of work. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was nervous, but like, it was not fear of people not liking it because I knew people were going to like it. You know, I that. liked it. Of course, you created no, it. No, but that's the thing. I've created, I've created EPs and that I've liked, but like, and I was always nervous. Or, mm -hmm. Oh, people accept this, but like, I knew what I set my mind to create. I knew the type of album I wanted to create, mm -hmm. so I knew like when I listened to the album, bad times. I was like, definitely bad times. Bad times, plenty times. <laughs> Okay. When I listened to the album plenty of times, I was like, yeah, definitely, like, people are going to love this album. And the people I had already sent it to before, like, the people that I hold in high esteem who I had sent it to were like, yeah, this, 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 this is great. So, yeah, so okay. it was cool. Okay. Like, don't need to say it again. Let me not add. <laughs> okay, so, um, <laughs> you know you cannot necessarily, you can't say for sure where people are when it comes to music in Nigeria 2019. Sometimes people are all about fantastic music. I could have sworn that some songs that went viral in 2019, some songs that people are going crazy about, some songs that I see people talk about on Twitter and I ask them, is everything all right with you? Mm -hmm. I could have sworn that those songs don't even, no one will listen to that song. I was 100% certain that when people drop the songs or the answer drop the song, people are going to rebuke them for the song. But people have gone on to love those type of songs. So you know when it comes to us, when it comes to listeners, you can't be 100% certain what they're going to you know, like or what they're going to fall in love with. So I'm just like, wow, you were, you were really, were really, you know, optimistic about this album. I think that, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I'll probably speak to artists that probably feel some type of way about their body of work. Ask Lady Donny how she did it. She's very <laughs> confident about her work. Okay. So enjoy your life. I definitely have to say that when I heard the album the first time, I could tell that, you know, this album, a lot went into me when it comes to your taste of music or what you were listening to like influences so it's not, it's not like we can say this came from a certain place so it's like a mixture of everything this at some true. point when i when i listen to a particular song uh so i, I caught like some divang in it some words from divang listen to another one i got like you know fella vibe when i heard <laughs> sofa sofa yeah. but you listen to fella when you dropped that one when you um, did it. I listen to Fela like regularly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like, I definitely, I feel like he definitely be one of my influences. Mm -hmm. Um, I, w I don't think I was particularly listening to him when I made that song, but mm -hmm. like it's just like I listen to him actively, so mm -hmm. he would definitely influence my sound scale. Mm -hmm. So for so for Safa so Safa, what is Fela? Um, or not? Mm, I guess. A little bit, but, but like, do you get that vibe when you listen to the song? Oh yeah, definitely. It's because, because of the chanting. It's because of the chanting, which is oh, like okay. this is standard for that. So I would say that okay, yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. In that sense, it definitely inspired it. Okay, that's what he does. That's what he does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so for Take Me Home, yeah. And I said when I heard Take Me Home, 
you, you, you spoke about you said something that divides it on yeah, Google. Yeah, said, said don't hate me because I'm hotter than you. Where did that one come from? Yo, so that song was it was crazy because. Mm -hmm. When we started making the song, like I wasn't even thinking about Mo Bono Philly at all. Okay. And then I was with Tommy Thomas. Tommy Thomas was in the studio with me mm -hmm. when I was making it. And then he just started singing the song on top of it. He was singing the song. He just started singing Mo Bono Philly Philly on top of That's it. Tommy. Yeah. And then we and I realized we're like, whoa, the chord progressions are similar. Um, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The chord progressions are similar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was not like, it was like, yo, man, you have to, you have to save this thing. You have to save this. Um, don't hear me because I'm not going to So I just sang it. So Tommy made like, you yeah. say that one. Yeah, it was like, yeah, shout out to Tommy. Shout out to Tommy Thomas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. He was like, yo, Z, you have, to, you have to put it there. I was like, yeah, man, it sounds fair. Let's do it. And so have you played the song for the band? Do you know if you're there? Uh, I don't think he has. Uh, maybe one day. One day? Yeah, maybe one day. <laughs> okay, so speaking about the band, he's definitely someone who, you know, we definitely need to give credit to more in terms of dancing. Of course, of course. And, you know, the movement, the activist movement, and, you know, the popular activists that are getting internationally. Do you sometimes feel like people who pioneered sounds or OGs in this music industry do not get the kind of credit that they deserve? Now, let me ask you, let me now, you know, um, bring that to you as an yeah. artist. Now, people refer to you as an artist. We've had this conversation over and over again. <laughs> We're not going to go in there. Yeah. But the point is, some people who probably started the movement or who are not very popular for something they don't remember they did, do you feel like people need to give them more credit? Or do you think OGs should ask for credit from younger artists? Because on Twitter, we see people constantly calling our young artists and saying, you all are disrespectful. Yeah. You don't give respect to people who were there before you. Do you do that? Do you give them respect? Do you just feel like I'm just sharing their own music? I don't owe you anything. Um, I give them respect in the sense that I respect the music. Um, I stream the music and I pay um, homage to the music if I decide to use it. Like, And you know, that is, for me, what appreciating the old music could be. Because like, I recognize those who came before me. Like whatever it is, like the Nigerian music scene. When I was creating this album, I listened to a whole bunch of music out of Africa and a bunch of classic Nigerian albums um, that I grew up on. And like for me, like when I was creating this album, I wanted to create a classic mm. Nigerian album. Mm. So like I made sure that I listened to all the people that inspired me. And um, definitely like you know, pay homage to the OGs. Definitely, um, especially Nigerian Nigerian music. But I feel like the structure with Nigerian music is at it's just it's just so hard, you know, like to to do anything in general. Like we don't mean? have, um, like I don't know, like in other places, like in America, whatever, whatever. You know, there are systems in places where like they do, structure. you know, there's structure in places like some places they'll do lifetime award achievements yes. where they will honor. Yes. So, 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 who's so. been doing music for 10, 15 years or 20 years or who started something or who started a movement exactly or someone yeah. to be in a museum they'll, you know, they'll yes. give you Hollywood yes. star something but like <laughs> yes. in Nigeria there's nothing like that so like, once your time has passed you're just like oh yeah if you didn't make money that time forget it exactly you're just like oh yeah this one you did good oh yeah we listen to it now but that's it but like you know there's no that's it yeah, and that's kind of sad that's kind of sad okay so someone on Twitter his name is Eri he spoke about um, OGs you know meeting up with younger artists and telling them oh, come work for me for free or just that like that is a way they require younger artists to pay for me to them have you ever been in such a situation and let's just say and maybe one OG should walk up to you right now to ask you to do it for free are you in that space where you're doing it for free <laughs> in 2019 as Lady Dawn? um if i respect the artists like for me like that's it if i respect an artist that i like the music that they've created i would definitely want to work with them like yeah it doesn't matter like as long as i know i'm creating good art so I have to like it first. So it. as long as you like someone's music, you do not mind jumping on it for free. Yeah. No. So like if I, I have time to drop a song now, can I get you to work on it? If I like the song. Okay. Definitely. I like the song. So you sing all through though, but I'll just take <laughs> If I like the song, it's easier. If you like me. the beat, that's the thing, because I'm giving you a beat, I'm not singing. Alright. So do it. Okay. So now enjoy your life as an album, in my opinion. I feel like it is an irony at the moment in Nigeria. <laughs> because you're talking about enjoying your life. How many Nigerians are actually really enjoying your life? in the country now if you had the opportunity to yeah. maybe sit down with your president or sit down with someone or someone that can think about the change in Nigeria yeah. and you know, do something that can actually actively allow Nigerians to enjoy their life what is the one thing you're going to ask for? Electricity yeah. Why not? Um, because electricity increases productivity mm -hmm. um, you know a lot of people have to get office spaces have to buy generators but like imagine if there was 24-7 lights in the country 
like I saw a video the other day of some kids in Kaduna that are like yes, you, know, years go viral and you know exactly yeah. and they're, they're, they're talking they were like oh that sometimes you have electricity problems yes. yeah, but imagine if those guys had lights all the time what they'll would, 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 would would be, be doing would be yeah. insane yeah. and it just goes like the average Nigerian like a lot of people like if there was electricity they would be getting up to something productive, productive. definitely like that alone can change so many things in the country so from Lady Donnelly the one thing that we need as Nigerians right now to enjoy our lives, you know, and perfectly, it's like, ah, just electricity yeah. rising to your arm. This is true. <laughs> okay, so as an artist, you started, you started your career from Abuja. Oh, yeah, I did. Yes, and you moved to Lagos. No, you've never moved to Lagos. I'm you're still in Abuja. But why do I always feel like you're here? Because I'm people here. I'm turning up and I see you. I'm here quite often, honestly. Okay, yeah. but you're still in Abuja anyway. A lot of artists feel like, you know, if you want to do music, I've met a couple of artists who started in Abuja. And they had to relocate to Lagos because they feel like this is where they can make their music. Yeah. Do you think that as an artist, you need to be here? Do you think like Lagos is where everything can happen for you as an artist? I'm asking you um, because just in case someone is listening to us right now, who a lot of things can now. happen in Lagos, but like I personally just don't see myself below, like fully being like, okay, yes, I'm relocated to Lagos because I just, it's just not the city for me that much like yeah what yeah. lagos is not the city for you please tell us why me. i just you know it just doesn't resonate to me as much as abuja does but i grew up in abuja so mm. it inspires me in, in different ways my family's out there um i don't know like it just feels right but lagos lagos is so rowdy like ah i mean i like it sometimes because i feed off the energy but like it gets really overwhelming sometimes for me so if you could change one thing about lagos what do you do Oh God, just one. Just one. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> How many things do you want? To <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, okay. Traffic. There's so much traffic, and mm-hmm. it's like the city is just so rowdy. Like there's so many people here. What? So you don't want the people? I don't want this to reduce the population a little bit. It's so rowdy. Okay, so that is the one thing you don't like about Lagos. About like, uh, definitely yeah. people's move, you know, everything. Push. It's okay. so fast. Too fast for you. It's too fast for you. So you do not think an artist needs to move to Lagos to get your song, uh, to, get a mega, to get a mega hit, to get someone's attention? I think we need to come to Lagos often enough. Like you said, you think I live here, but I don't really. Yeah, you know, because I see you. Yeah, you know, but that's the thing, because I'm, yeah. mm, okay. I'm on the ground. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so enjoy your life. You featured a couple of people. Yeah. You had um, Thames. Yeah. You had Cavemen. Yeah. How did you? I know you work with Cavemen. Yeah. And you perform with Cavemen. Yeah. And why did you choose Thames as an artist? Why did you choose the artist you just you had in your album? Was happy album? Um, Thames was kind of like a random link up. To be honest, I heard mm-hmm. her perform at um, Show Them Camp's show. And I was yeah. like, ah, I went up to her, I was like, oh yeah, your voice is beautiful. And then that week, or like the week after, I was working on my album. Mm-hmm. And I just tweeted, I was like, yeah, I'm looking for um, women to work with. And people mentioned her. And I just DM her, I was like, yeah, what's good? Come, come to my studio, let's do something. And we just worked, like, the first song we ever created was the song on the album. And it was just good vibes. My name was is Good Time. <laughs> So it was just, I don't know, it was just good vibes. Um, so she came to Abuja? No, 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 I was in Lagos, yeah, I was, I was working on it in Lagos. Mm-hmm. So she came over to the studio and we just vibed and that was it. So the first album that you, the first song you recorded on the Enjoy Your Life album was the one with the, No, no, no. You said that's the first song. That's the first song that me and her have ever okay, done. Okay, like you didn't have to do like two, three songs no, to get no, the perfect no, no, song. No, that, that, was, the first that was just the first, first try. And, and, and the entire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for Cavemen. Um, that's my band, like, yeah. um, so we work on so much together, mm-hmm. like, or- already from production to songwriting to performing. Um, so, like, that's just like second place, like, yeah, it's second place, like, when ah. I was, yeah, it's so, it's so normal because when I was working on the album, we we're all together mm-hmm. and we like, we vibe all the time, so mm-hmm. it's just, yeah. Normal. So, now the summer din- summer dinna, summer dinna. The, is that the summer from Big Brother? No, no. Uh-huh. <laughs> I really wanted to ask you that one. <laughs> so, so who is Samadina? Um Samadina, she's um an amazing, amazing, amazing vocalist and an amazing writer. She mm-hmm. um she dropped two songs, mm-hmm. um I H Y and Lay Low. Um I heard her for the first time with I H Y. Incredible record that you should everybody should listen to. Mm-hmm. Like she's an amazing vocalist. And um yeah, like young girl, 
I don't think she's. I don't think she's older than nineteen. But like she's, she's so great and she's driven and I was just so inspired at that. Like I told her, I was like, "Hey, we have to work." And I'm happy that I could get her on the album. Definitely. Okay, so now you spoke about them trying to get him, and how you tweeted about wanting to work with female artists. Yeah. I think I saw the tweet. I think I did. And you know, people mentioned them. So after you dropped the album, yeah. Someone tweeted at you, and someone said something about um, why do you have too many women on the album? I said, um, I said women are leading me with this one, like, um, you know, and uh, as it should be, to be honest, because most of the projects that come out of Nigeria in the world in general is just like male dominated, male featured. And for me, like, there's a lot of talented women out there, and it just made sense to me that this was the most important, that I'd share the most important moment in my career with more women. Mm-hmm. So you inspired me the most. Yeah, definitely. So you intentional about working with women? Oh, definitely. Definitely. No regret for that one. No, not at all. Nothing. Okay. So you said women have inspired you the most. Yeah, yeah. As an artist, yeah, as, a yeah, as a person. Women. Which of them? My mom, mean? definitely. Mm-hmm. My sister, and then the artists that I admire as well, like um, Asha, Omosangari, mm-hmm. Batamata, Diawara, Brenda Farsi. I think like women have been pivotal in the way that I interact with music and the yeah. kind of music I want to create. So definitely, definitely. So how do you think that women can be given more credit? Because you know sometimes when we talk about structure in Nigeria not being you know not being fantastic, yeah. So we also cannot deny that some of the women who have done work in the past who have done really fantastic things they've been swept under the carpet because the first and foremost were terrible with history in Nigeria. This is true. Do you understand? So how can we even make sure that the women who are doing music right now who are doing fantastic things do not get swept under the carpet like you know, the women? Honestly it's about building I don't want to say our own thing because I don't want to like say we get in the ship <laughs> and say but like collaboration is so important because yeah. it goes back to that like women featuring women, women working with other women, not, not, not just in art, not just um, in music, but like, generally, yeah, you yeah. know, production wise, like um, video wise, getting more women in, interested interviews. in production, you know, like interviews, like so many things, like it's just like empowerment in the way it's possible, because like there is an industry, there are girls that are talented, there are women that are talented, and they're just waiting for the right opportunity, and if we don't give it to each other, then like, so like anyone's going to give up anyway. Exactly, so you either have to give it, give it out or you take it by force and um, so like for me I'm just starting out by just collaborating with more people putting more people onto the music by women that I like and you know just keep on moving from there okay so I am having a conversation with Lady Donnelly if you want to join in all you have to do is call me up 0700 if you have a question for her pay attention to what I'm saying if you have a question or a comment for Lady Donnelly Please call in 0700 I said the phone line button and I'm really hoping that you all are calling in for the one. 1051 FM. It's not derived from anything, that's actually my name. And I think you said that before. Yeah, I've said it bad so many I times. Think every time you come here, <laughs> like people always ask you about Donnie. Yeah, that's my name. I know. What does it mean? Uh, we don't really know, to be honest. Wait, wait, wait. So your name is Donnie. Donnie. Can I ask you about the other one? Um, Zena. Zena. That's the first name. Yeah. So your middle name is Donnie. My last name is Donnie. Your last name is Donnie. Zena Donnie. Zena Donnie. Okay, so Donnie is your surname. Yeah, that's my surname. Oh, so your name is Zena Donnie. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, fancy. But you don't know the name of Donnie, definitely. Yeah, nobody really knows. <laughs> it's, 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 it, the name was cut in slave times. It's long. Oh, long yeah, story, long yeah, story. yeah. Cut. Then why did you drop the album? Enjoy your life. Um, cause I have mixtapes. I've dropped mixtapes. I've yes, dropped EPs. Actually. You know, I've dropped. I've done all of that. Mm-hmm. And this entire project just seemed like an album. Perfect it it was not. You know, it didn't. It wasn't time for me to drop an EP yeah. or an LP or whatever. It's just like this is my time to drop an album. Okay. Let's check out Corner by Lady Donnelly. Yes. Do not forget you can join. Featuring Van Jess and Kingman. Featuring Van Jess and Kingman. Please, Connor by Lady Donny. Don't forget you can join the conversation on social media at 60051 or you can call in 0700 But I'm taking your calls after we check out some of the songs off her album Enjoy Your Life. I really hope you're enjoying Lady Donny. 1051 FM. Five one. That is good time, Lady Donny on the show. Now, right before that one, we checked out Flavor. And yes, you refer to your creator as. Uh, she? Yeah. Why do you do that? Why not? I 
I'm just asking why. You tell no, me I'm why. I'm, t- I'm asking why not. Um, no, but I don't know. You tell me why you refer to him. I mean, no. I mean, because you know, we popularly refer to God, our Creator, as a He, yeah. as a Man. You know, that is what we do regularly yeah. and family. So now to see someone refer to her Creator as a She is not usual. Why yeah, because uh, I'm here to change the narrative, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and if I was made in the image of my Creator, then surely my Creator is a She. Like, why not? So like that's it for me. Just like if I was made in the image of my creator and I'm a woman, then I'm going to address my God as a woman. It doesn't matter. God is not a spirit. God doesn't have a gender. Like I don't know why people have popularized he, she, or get angry when people don't want to use he. It's like you know that that's a conversation that was <laughs> that, that was held on social media about this creator thing when someone referred to I can't remember the person. Did you see the conversation on Twitter? No, I don't think so. Ariana um, Grande did. Ariana yes, Grande of course, did, yeah. God is a woman, definitely. Yeah. But before that, like in Nigeria, something went down on Twitter, you know, and it was about this entire God is God is a she conversation. But do you think women should refer to God as a she? I think it's a personal choice. Like mm-hmm. it's up to you. Like this is what me I've chosen to do. It doesn't mean you have to do it. But like if that's what you feel in your spirit, then cool, do it, and don't let anyone come at you for doing it. Like no one has a right to. That's that's it for me. Um, you would definitely be a woman. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, so I saw you tweet about your album, almost in like, um, a million tweets yeah, yeah, yeah. on Apple and Spotify. Yeah. That is fantastic. Thank you. And so I mean, you find it out. Like, I'm like, what? Yeah. Bless you. Do you have plans to ever get signed to a record label? Because you're already doing stuff. You like you're, you're, you're shaking tables. Yeah. Um, if the right deal comes, yeah, like. You cool. still want to get signed? Cool. Oh man, anything for the grab. <laughs> I'm so like, you don't mind a record deal? I don't mind, it just depends on who it's from and what type of deal it is. Like I won't sell myself shorts for anything. But like if I get a good deal, you know, like a good a deal I regard as good then yeah, cool. Have you had like record deal owners in Nigeria put you for a deal before or something like that? And you turn it down? Uh not really. Not really. Not really. But if you get someone that you really like, you're definitely gonna sign. In Nigeria, no. In that's what I'm. That's what I'm no, talking no, about. No, 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 no. I'm. I'm saying in Nigeria. No, 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 no. You don't want anybody record no, no, in Nigeria no, 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 no. at all. No, like no, you're thinking about it. No, no, no. All the record labels. You don't want anybody. No, no. no you no. see why I said she's proud. None of them. You Not my proud. No, I don't understand. So you don't want anybody. No, no. So come on, give you like millions of naira. No, 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 no. Why don't you want to get signed to a record deal? Um, that's not. I don't know. Like I've never. I have a vision for myself, and it hasn't. None of them have fit into my box. Of my vision for myself, yes, and that's no, it's not only a pride thing, it's just yeah. like everybody just you know, doing what they want, exactly. Absolutely. And it. we cannot even lie about it. Record labels in Nigeria, <clears throat> so yes, so yeah, you're doing fantastic. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, you're doing fantastic as an independent artist. Yes, and I, I do not honestly think you need to get signed to a deal, you've been able to, you know, get all the recognition that you deserve without you know getting signed. Yeah. How did you even do that? Hard work and consistency, mm. I would say. I think I'm very consistent in like, the mm. way I put music out, um, the way I try to interact with my fans. And you know, just like, I just built from there. I mean, that's all. From the scratch? Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right then. So, Lady Donnelly, definitely just drop Enjoy Your Life in 2019. We definitely cannot ask you for more music to watch in the next five years, 10 years. Uh, no, I'll drop my next album next year. What? Already? Yeah. You say you're working in there? Yeah. So, no I sleep for the weekend? That's all. You're weekend. So, so we have to keep Are you weekend? Weekend? A I weekend? A little bit. A little bit. Thank you so much, Lady Donny, for coming today. Thank it was nice having you. Okay, so I can't ask you about anybody at work. Next year, I'm sure you will give me the title of the album. No, you don't, I don't even know yet. I'm just. Uh, but you say you're working. Yeah. How many songs do you have already? Uh, yeah, I have a lot of songs. I just don't what? know where they fit. Where they'll fit into. Mm. So just working on working. And I, I, I must say this. I remember, like, for every time I've had you on the show, I've always you know teased you about changing your sound. And saying, I'm sure that in the next few months we'll have this conversation. You're tired doing some type of single music and everything, but you've been able to stay consistent and you keep coming through with the actual Lady Donnie sound and the essence of it. So we're done at having a conversation about the type of music that you do. Thank God. We're so done with it because now we know. <laughs> Blessings, Lord. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having Yeah, nice having you. Never ending by Lady Donnie because you know her good vibes and, of course, good music is never ending when it comes to Lady Donnie. And I absolutely can tell you that categorically that she's. Amazing. Don't touch the done. Make sure you get her new album, Enjoy Your Life. Please stream it. I see some people asking her, when are we gonna get it for free download? I Lady Donnie said I hope you never get it. You're wicked. Me? You want to take two years of my life for free. Whenever I make it for free, I'm just like, why? 
Why so savage, yo? Uh, did I make it she open? said never. Caps. I didn't even put a time. Well, I just said I hope never. You see, never. never. You see uh-uh. how many? Uh-uh. Why do? Right. Okay, please buy her new album. Enjoy your life on Apple Music and Spotify. Yes, right? please. Yes, please. Yeah, never ended. We got the hits. We got the gist. This is Lagos' number one lifestyle station. City 1051 FM.